Thank you. 
spiritual father who surrounds us with grace and wisdom and mercy. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are the perfect father. Pray that you would open the doors of our hearts to you and our children. in the sense that he endeavored 
to do what was right. When it was discovered that Mary had been told was a child, he did not want to bring her to Jesus. He did not want to have her stone because the law actually described. He did not want to disgrace her. He did not want to bring the weight of the law that was on her. He wants to do what was good. Do you know the people are watching you to observe what you do with right? They know. You say, well, my kids are dumb, they're dumb, they have a kid, they're still watching, and your children are still watching you. Your grandchildren are watching you. Are you a person that says the same? That's what it means to be a righteous person, a person that has to do things in the right way. There are some characteristics I'd like to point out about being a righteous person. You know that a righteous person is also merciful. Merciful not only with his own children, but merciful in his dealings with all people. We are to be merciful people. Our heavenly Father is merciful and desires for us to be like Him. So even if your own Father is not merciful to you, because your Father is. So you have no excuse to escape. Merciful in his dealing with all people. You know what? Mercy does not take advantage of all people. Mercy does not continue when it comes to the world. Mercy does not give the consequence that is deserved. Oh, now you're talking about grace. You don't want me to talk. You don't want me to have grace to you. If you don't have grace, you can get the next thing that God has said to you. You might be the best. God, in His righteousness, is merciful to us, blessing us far above what we would ever deserve. He doesn't call us to be leading to slack. Leading to be a part of justice is not to mercy. Sometimes mercy is expressed best in discipline. Not good. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. God is merciful, but God is never slack. He's delivering justice. Or he's disciplined to his people. Don't be surprised when your heavenly father disciplines you, for he will discipline those who love him. His father is his father. The righteous man is an honest man who is well done. Joseph was an honest man. Throughout the gospel, he's speaking 
Jesus was known as a young boy. And Joseph often felt overwhelmed. How would it be to raise the son of God? How does that work? Perhaps he felt that he was going to be dead. 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 He was caring for God's son, but you know what? Those children in your lives, those people in your lives that are gifts from God, they actually don't belong to you. You know what I mean? Lord, how Joseph felt that he needed to live for God's son, or train in God's son. In our lives, although our children are not divine, they are still gifts of God.